Let's try and make some sense out of this madness that's going around on the internet right now. There has been a post release, apparently from a Snapchat that's owned by DVS, the rapper from Brixton, who was locked up for 23 years for a rape and torture of a 20-year-old girl. What this post has apparently said is that he's free at last. There is no picture of actually DVS himself, but it's a picture of a car, etc., driving on the street, and it's coming from his Snapchat. This is now started to go around online also that has started raising the people that support dvs still people that are still actually playing his music people that are still uploading his music onto youtube rapper dvs his name is courtney hutchinson he's 32 years old and he will remain on the sex offenders register for life he was sentenced in 2017 for 23 years so obviously it's quite it should be quite impossible that he should be out so initially i'd say no this is impossible but upon looking into this a little bit further and checking out his social media feeds i found that he was actually being active on twitter in 2018 december screenshots of him uh, christmas eve where he replied back to two 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 tweets so this could mean several things this could mean as everybody knows people have phones in prison of course he could have a phone in prison so there's footage there's phone calls of him from prison so he's actually i mean he's still alive he's not he could still have a phone in prison but then also it could mean that he's actually out so what what what's, what the hell's going on do you know what i mean we need to uh, i want i need to hear what people know anything to fill in the blanks in this because i can't find any concrete confirmation of it but all i know is that this is what's been go this is what's going around so some of the victims injuries reported by the metropolitan police included severe burns from an iron a fractured eye socket broken nose dislocated shoulder and a stab wound to the hand snares but crown court heard that during the three-day attack he dragged the victim around the flat by her hair whipped her repeatedly with a phone charger cable and made her put her hands behind her back while he put punched her in the face and throat in some mad sort of t like irony he actually played a character in the film the intense with crept and conan alongside his co-star in that which was dylan duffus which is a brummy himself he's uh he's from hansworth and uh, he actually was torturing a man in this actual film this is the character he was playing in the film which is some sort of weird i'm not sure how to i don't even that's just mad isn't it so yeah he was torturing the guy and that's what they and that's what they claim he did to this this young girl so the arguments that's gone on some people lippy lick shot if you know who he is is a, is, a, is a blogger he was arguing with somebody and somebody made the point of some people are trying to clout chase uh be anti-police for clout to show they are rude when it comes to shit like a rape for example a spade is a spade my g and especially for a man with uh daughters like myself who basically saying do you know what i mean he can't condone that behavior which i completely agree with do you know what I mean? If they've got the if the evidence is the way it is, it's it's a pretty messed up case. Do you know what I mean? So, but is there a way back for that? Do people still maintain a fan base? Can you still be a fan of somebody if they're convicted of such a terrible crime like that? I just does anybody else know anything? Has anyone actually got any concrete information? Some pictures of DVS or anything? Just let us know. Leave a comment, like, comment, share, subscribe. Sky City Studios YouTube channel. Peace. Bad, but I'm still money on the curb be i'm still eating i'm fresh to death on the visits when they come to see me fresh clothes fresh trim i'm a pump to clean be it's like the judge knocked me out and i'm still down i feel like anthony joshua in the sixth round but fuck the judge and them i'll be up again back in over cough dinner with the plug again did you think that i was dead then i was suffering opinions i've had enough of them i don't call my niggas much but i call when i can i heard gigs is killing it i heard storms is the man I heard some other rappers talking like they run in the streets but where was those niggas at when we was running the streets 